Reverend Insanity Chapter 2221 Fang Yuan's Principles Longevity Heaven's Luck Path Dao Marks were originally from Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's Immortal Aperture. Because it did not devour any Nine Heavens fragment, Heaven's will had not taken over it. As long as he fought in Longevity Heaven, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable strength would be even greater than Spectral Soul Demon Venerable in Crazed Demon Cave. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's own luck path Dao Marks could not match Spectral Soul Demon Venerable in number. But with the colossal number of Dao Marks in Longevity Heaven, he surpassed Spectral Soul Demon Venerable's main body. And most importantly, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable was sane and clear-minded. It is a pity that I cannot fuse this original immortal aperture into my current body. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable did not lack methods to move an immortal aperture. Once he fused with Longevity Heaven, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's strength would surge immensely. His luck path Dao Marks would greatly surpass and suppress Fang Yuan. By then, he could travel the five regions and two heavens without any worries. After all, Longevity Heaven was Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's peak cultivation creation. It was Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's foundation after passing three chaotic disasters. Meanwhile, Fang Yuan had only passed one Heavenly Dao blockade. He had survived the Chaos Tribulation in Kray's Demon Cave. It could only be considered a small chaotic disaster. But right now, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had a reason why he could not absorb Longevity Heaven. Because he cultivated Blood Path now. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable wanted to use Blood Path as his main path and Luck Path as his specialty. His plan was to cultivate both paths. Since he had planned this for so long already, he naturally had a superb Blood Luck dual cultivation method. But he did not have the sovereign immortal body. No matter what he did, conflicts of Dao marks still existed. Right now, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had only started cultivating Blood Path officially for a short time. He had many Luck Path Dao marks but few Blood Path Dao marks. This difference was already the limit. If he fused with Longevity Heaven now, he would gain a surge of Luck Path Dao marks that would suppress Blood Path entirely. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's dual cultivation plan would fail. Although I cannot regain longevity heaven now, in terms of refining natural Dao marks, I have the biggest advantage, that is my immortal essence. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had the largest immortal essence storage of the three venerables. Currently, he had a thousand yellow apricot immortal essence beads. Most of it was left behind in longevity heaven during his first life. He had an even larger quantity stored back then. But there was continuous expenditure as time passed, because Longevity Heaven could not produce any more immortal essence after Giant Sun's demise. Eventually, only less than 10% of his immortal essence was left. But this quantity is definitely the highest among everyone. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable was confident about this. Because he knew that Heaven Refining Demon Venerable Fang Yuan had just advanced, his rank 9 Immortal Essence storage was zero. As for rank 8 Immortal Essence, he definitely had some, but it was a small quantity as well. It was obvious. Ever since Fang Yuan's rebirth, his cultivation level had risen rapidly. He had almost participated in all the major fights. He also refined so many Immortal Goo and made various Immortal Goo houses. With such an investment, how could he have a lot of Immortal Essence left? And the thing that made Giant Sun Immortal Venerable most glad was that Fang Yuan got hit by his luck path killer move in Kray's Demon Cave Fortune and Disaster Coexists. Even though Fang Yuan made use of this killer move to end up deceiving him, it was undeniable that the Sovereign Immortal Aperture suffered huge losses in the end. Together with the small chaotic disaster, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable estimated that the Sovereign Immortal Aperture was definitely in a pitiful state right now. This was Fang Yuan's situation, but Star Constellation Immortal Venerable also could not have more Immortal Essence than Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. The reason? The reason was quite simple. 
Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's era was too long ago. Even if she left behind a large quantity of immortal essence, heavenly courts goo immortals would have expended them over the years. In fact, three demon venerables, Limitless Demon Venerable, Reckless Savage Demon Venerable, and Red Lotus Demon Venerable, invaded Heavenly Court after Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's era. When Heavenly Court resisted the three demon venerables, could they have avoided the use of venerable methods which expended the immortal essence left by the venerable? Regrettably, the two heavens are fusing and the heaven path Dao marks are gathering with the change of environment. I had no choice but to retrieve Lux Oppression Heavenly Palace. Otherwise, my advantage would be even greater. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had no choice but to move Lux Oppression Heavenly Palace back. With Lux Oppression Heavenly Palace in immemorial Black Heaven, it could continue to arrange Luck Path Dao Marks and participate in the operations of Heaven and Earth, as well as the Luck of Living Beings. It could allow the Black Heaven above Northern Plains to become Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's territory that he could manipulate. Back then, in the Reverse Flow River Battle, Heavenly Court organized a group to head to Northern Plains, but they suffered a loss in immemorial Black Heaven. It was mostly the effect of Lux Oppression Heavenly Palace. Now, with the fusion of the two immemorial heavens, the Luck Path Dao marks that Lux Oppression Heavenly Palace arranged in the past were affected by the change. They became chaotic and broken. If he forcefully protected these Luck Path Dao marks and resisted the changes of the Heavenly Dao, the whole of Lux Oppression Heavenly Palace would be affected and face destruction. These days, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had been healing himself while observing the situation, he had a rather clear understanding of it now. In the five regions and two heavens, no matter how the environment changed, the battle between the Venerables was the only thing that mattered. For Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, be it Star Constellation Immortal Venerable or Heaven Refining Demon Venerable, they were both unprecedented enemies. In the short term, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable could not find a way to exterminate these two enemies, he could only try to weaken them while maintaining his advantage. The abundance of Immortal Essence was Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's advantage. If I use this advantage well, I will be able to refine the Luck Path Dao Marks of the world first. On this basis, if I fight against either of the two Venerables, I will be able to gain the upper hand. Once I gain the upper hand, I will have to heavily cripple Heavenly Court or Fang Yuan. If I can't do that, a lot of trouble will ensue. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable felt a sense of urgency internally. If he missed the opportunity of using this early period of advantage, as time passed, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable would plot and scheme deeper as a wisdom path expert. She would get harder to deal with. There was another point. They had to guard against Star Constellation Immortal Venerable secretly reviving the other Immortal Venerables of Heavenly Court. This was the same for Fang Yuan too. Right now, his Immortal Essence storage was at its lowest. Once it started to rise, with his Refinement Path ability, he would refine Immortal Goo on a large scale. His strength would rise greatly, far beyond now. Refinement Path Venerable Thinking of Fang Yuan's declaration as great love earlier, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable could not help but frown slightly. He could already predict that Fang Yuan's strength would cause a huge impact on the Gu Immortal world. This strength was so colossal and unprecedented that even Giant Sun Immortal Venerable could not tell what the future would become because of Fang Yuan's actions. After all, there had never been a refinement path venerable in history. Refinement path was different from the other paths. Gu cultivation had three major aspects, nurture, use, and refinement. Refinement path was one of these three aspects. This was a special trait that no other path had. Heavenly court. Cough, cough, cough. In a tightly shut secret room, star constellation immortal venerable coughed out several mouthfuls of blood. The injuries from the battle in Kray's Demon Cave had not recovered yet. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable cultivated Wisdom Path and Star Path. 
she was not as skilled as giant sun immortal venerable in terms of healing, who cultivated blood path. Gu immortal injuries were usually very troublesome. Venerables were no exception to this. Heavenly Court did not lack outstanding healing methods, but for the case of star constellation immortal venerable, very few were suitable. Because she had too many wisdom path and star path Tao marks, healing methods of all other paths were barely usable. Human path was an exception but in the whole of heavenly court, there were no human path pseudo-venerable experts. This was the lowest requirement to heal a venerable's injuries. Thus, other than healing herself, star constellation immortal venerable had no other methods. I still have 671 yellow apricot immortal essence beads. Star constellation immortal venerable frowned. I did not have many to begin with. Some were consumed during the battle in crazed demon cave as well. I still have injuries on me if I continue healing myself. Yellow apricot immortal essence beads would be rapidly expended again. After that, I still need to refine Heavenly Court's Tao Marks and the Natural Wisdom Path Tao Marks of the world. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable calculated precisely. She had sufficient Immortal Essence for now, but Wisdom Path experts calculated ten steps in advance. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable was definitely deducing more than that. The immortal essence storage was not enough for her to refine the wisdom path Tao marks of the outside world. Star constellation immortal venerable situation was different from giant sun immortal venerable. There were a large number of wisdom path Tao marks in heavenly court, but they did not belong to star constellation immortal venerable. Because heavenly court had annex nine heavens fragments, even though Star Constellation Immortal Venerable contributed her own immortal aperture to this place, her original Tao marks had all been assimilated and taken over by Heaven's will. Of course, during the process of refining Tao marks in the outside world, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's current immortal aperture would still produce rank 9 immortal essence continuously. But Star Constellation Immortal Venerable felt that this was an extremely dangerous situation. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable or Heaven Refining Demon Venerable might attack at any time. Thus, the more immortal essence she had in her storage, the better. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable must have more immortal essence than me. As for Heaven Refining Demon Venerable, he is the weakest among us in this aspect. But he cannot be underestimated. This man is very special. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable thought of this as she revealed a complex expression. Fang Yuan's earlier declaration of being great love Immortal Venerable shook the entire world. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable was wary of Fang Yuan's refinement path ability, while Star Constellation Immortal Venerable focused on his nature. In the history of the Ten Venerables, Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable was noble and grand. Limitless Demon Venerable was a crazed Tao pursuer. Spectral Soul Demon Venerable enjoyed slaughter. Reckless Savage Demon Venerable was wild. Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable was indifferent, while Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable was obsessed. But no matter what, each of these Venerables had their own pride and arrogance in some way. But Heaven Refining Demon Venerable Fang Yun, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable squinted her eyes, she had never seen a venerable with such a nature. He simply did not know the limit of what the word shameless was, he did not care about his face, he distorted truth and lies, even lying with a calm expression and deceiving with a righteous tone. What great love Immortal Venerable! Star Constellation Immortal Venerable was certain that this title was part of Fang Yuan's current plan. It was a method to achieve his current goals. If it was said that anyone in the world could go from demonic to righteous, Fang Yuan was the least likely one among them all. If he felt the need to make a move, he would do it regardless of how many innocent lives would be sacrificed. By then, the declaration of great love immortal venerable and all related promises would be completely forgotten by him like a baseless fart. But if he felt that going back to the righteous path had benefits to be gained, he would make another similar declaration with no shame in his heart. 
star constellation Immortal Venerable had finally understood Fang Yuan clearly now. If I have to say that this person has a principle, then his principle is to have no bottom line. And if I say this person has a bottom line, then his bottom line is to have no principle. This was simply a thoroughly shameless person. When Star Constellation Immortal Venerable felt a headache regarding him, this shameless fellow had already become venerable. And the thing that made it hard for Star Constellation Immortal Venerable was that this shameless venerable had an incredibly deep understanding of the human heart, to the extent where he could predict their every thought. His actions were bound to create a huge wave in the Gu Immortal world before gathering countless people to his side. The temptation of Immortal Gu was too great. Even if they could not trust him now, some risk-taking Gu Immortals would still try their luck. Once Fang Yuan displayed sufficient sincerity, the entire five regions Gu Immortal world would fall into his palm. Even Heavenly Court will not be spared from this, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable smiled bitterly. Chapter 2222, Fang Yuan's First Public Deal Western Desert The silent desert suddenly exploded as sand flew in the air. A huge mountain-like beast appeared from underground. This beast had the shape of a python, it had a crocodile head and six sharp eagle-like claws. Dragon Crocodile an immemorial dragon crocodile. The dragon crocodile roared, the sound waves spread widely, but there was a trace of fear and panic in its voice. The dragon crocodile had the ability to climb clouds and soar to the sky. After leaving the desert, it flew straight up. But midway, the dragon crocodile's body shook suddenly as it spewed out a torrent of flames from its huge mouth. The dragon crocodile growled in pain as it fell to the ground, creating a huge sand wave as a result. After it struggled for a while, it gradually quietened down and stopped moving entirely. After a while, three goo immortals came out of its mouth. Two males and one female. They were from three super forces of western desert respectively, being Shikang, Zuo Qiu Yan Ming, and Chuoba Feng Yan. Shikang cultivated earth path, while the other two cultivated fire path. It was a fact that the most common cultivation path among western deserts Gu Immortals was fire path. The final dragon crocodile is dead. According to our three clans agreement, this dragon crocodile belongs to Sister Yan Ming. The only female here, Zuo Qiu Yan Ming, nodded as she opened her immortal aperture's entrance placing this immemorial dragon crocodile into it. She observed within her immortal aperture and showed a smile on her face. This immemorial dragon crocodile's corpse is good. Many Tao marks are preserved. It was all thanks to Brother Feng Yan's plan that we killed it like this. I'm flattered. Chuoba Feng Yan smiled. If not for Brother Shikang's method, we would not have been able to enter the dragon crocodile's stomach and take this risk. The biggest credit goes to Brother Shikang. I'm flattered as well, this is our mutual effort. Shikang smiled as he replied modestly. Dragon crocodiles lived in immemorial black heaven, but recently with the fusion of both heavens, their living habitat was badly affected. After a dragon crocodile group lost in a territorial fight, they had to escape from immemorial black heaven. They wandered along a route, passing Zuo Kiyu, Chuoba, and she clans territories. These three clans negotiated and each sent a rank seven Gu immortal expert to get rid of these dragon crocodiles that were in poor condition already. Shikang, Zuo Kelly Yan Ming, and Chuoba Feng Yan worked together, spending three days and nights to wipe out this dragon crocodile group. But right when they were about to return to their own clans, they received orders from their clans simultaneously. Oh, Wan Clan wants to gather the clans and attack Fang Clan together. He <laughs> he, so the first one that acts is Wan Clan after all. Now it seems, because us three are the closest to Wan Clan's territory, they sent us this order together. The three immortals discussed for a while before deciding to travel together. Even though this is not far from Wan Clan, 
we still need to rest and reorganize ourselves. Indeed, we need to treat our injuries first. The dragon crocodile corpses in the immortal apertures have to be dealt with too. Shi Kang thought about it before smiling. On this journey to Wan Clan, we will pass by Myriad or Desert. That resource point is guarded by my clan's Shizhong. We can go there and rest. For resting, the environment of the wilderness was definitely worse than a resource point. Every resource point had an immortal formation, it was safer too. Zuo Qiu Yan Ming and Chuoba Fong Yan looked at each other before turning to Shi Kang and nodding. The latter said, Then we will trouble you this time. Shi Kang laughed heartily, gladly. Myriad or desert was relatively flat, and the surrounding view extended to the horizon. The ground was a cracked rocky terrain with no vegetation growing. But below the desert, there was a different world altogether. A large amount of ores were gathered here. A hundred thousand rockmen were living here as miners, excavating all sorts of materials for goo immortals. But these rockmen were all mortals, they were goo masters at best. With limited strength, they could only excavate mortal ores. Thus, Shi Clan sent a Gu immortal to guard this place while simultaneously excavating immortal ores. This was a tough mission. Normally speaking, a Gu immortal sent here was someone who got ostracized by the clan. Shi Zhang was such an example. Shi Zhang's father betrayed the clan and caused huge losses to them, not just in resources but also Gu immortals' lives. In order to gain trust, Shi Zhang changed his name to Shi Zhang One to express his loyalty to the clan. But that did not change anything. At this moment, Shi Zhang's divine sense was moving about in Treasure Yellow Heaven. In Treasure Yellow Heaven, the most eye catching thing now was that huge piece of primordial domain. This is the legendary secluded domain of heaven and earth. In the battle in Kray's Demon Cave, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable sold this to Heaven Refining Demon Venerable Fang Yuan. If I can get a piece, how good would that be? Shi Zhong felt incredibly envious. The reason why he knew about the origin of this primordial domain was because Fang Yuan had spread the news. The idea was simple. He wanted the world to know that even Giant Sun Immortal Venerable made a transaction with him. What was there to fear? Of course, now that Giant Sun Immortal Venerable was exposed as the creator of Blood Path and had also started cultivating it, he was labeled as a Demon Venerable by Heavenly Court. Above the Primordial Domain, there was a will. This will had a human-shaped form. He wore a white robe and had black hair. His facial features were peerless. It was Fang Yuan's will. Heaven Refining Demon Venerable If I ask him to refine Gu, Will I be able to obtain Wealth Goo? No, that is too risky. Wealth Goo is my hope of rising up. How can I give the Goo recipe to Fang Yuan? If he succeeds in the refinement but does not give the Goo to me, I will be making a stupid mistake. There is nothing I can do to a venerable. This thought only flashed in Shi Zhang's mind for a second. Shi Zhang had obtained an incomplete immortal Gu recipe of Wealth Gu in his early days. Wealth Gu was a legendary immortal Gu. If Shi Zhang could refine it, he would soon become incredibly wealthy and accumulate lots of cultivation resources, breaking free from the clan's restraints. In order to refine Wealth Gu, Shi Zhang had secretly used humans to refine Gu. If such a demonic act was exposed, he would be in huge trouble. Even though he took such a huge risk, he had tried to refine it for over a hundred times, but all his attempts ended in failure. He was still far from success. Shi Zhang had naturally heard Fang Yuan's declaration, but he did not dare to risk it. Wealth Gu was all the hope he had. Oh, Gu immortals are getting closer. Right at this time, the immortal formation suddenly alerted. Shi Zhang's expression changed. He immediately went out of Treasure Yellow Heaven and controlled the immortal formation. At this time, Shi Kang was leading the other two immortals as they stayed in the sky, at the edge of the formation, without entering deeply as they waited. After Shi Zhang contacted them and verified their identity, he learned of their intention. 
I am so glad that brother Shi Kang came here. Please, everyone, come in. Shi Zhang showed sufficient enthusiasm. The three immortals entered the immortal formation and rested for a while. Shi Zhang held a small banquet and invited them to join. He even specially gave the main seat to Shi Kang. After Shi Kang rejected it a few times, he sat down on the main seat. As the other two immortals saw this situation, they thought of a rumor and understood why. Compared to Shi Zhang, Shi Kang was a popular person in Shu clan. Not long ago, he had defeated everyone else and obtained Sand Heap Blessed Land. On this trip, after killing the dragon crocodiles, Shi Kang did not need to hand them over to the clan, he sold many of them in Treasure Yellow Heaven directly. Seeing such a treatment, Zuo Qiu Yan Ming and Chuoba Fong Yan felt very envious. This time, Wan Clan is leading everyone and gathering Wan Clan's forces to attack Fang Clan. What do both of you think? After some drinking, Shi Kang asked. Zuo Qiu Yan Ming said, Wan Clan and Fang Clan have deep grudges. It is not strange that they are leading this. Since they are using a proper reason, there is no issue with their action. But I think that Wan Clan's decision now will cause problems in the future. That's right, I hold the same view. Chuoba Feng Yan put down his glass. Firstly, with the disappearance of the five regional walls, Western Desert has several clans by the borders of the regions. It is difficult to get them to make a bold move. Secondly, Fang Clan is not weak. Their first Supreme Elder has rank 8 cultivation level and they most excel in immortal goo houses. Thirdly, Fang Clan has a good relationship with many clans. During the Fate War, they had led everyone in the fight, causing their reputation to rise greatly. And fourthly, which is the most important reason. The reason why we are targeting Fang Clan is because of their trading with Fang Yuan, but this is also our fear. Who knows what their exact relationship with Fang Yuan is? Shi Kang nodded continuously, sighing. Brother Chuoba's analysis is sound and clear, I agree completely. Shi Zhang did not speak, he was in deep thought. Chuoba Feng Yan's analysis was simple, and Shi Kang knew it as well, but he had to ask this. Because Shi Kang represented Shi Klan, he had to talk with Zuo Qiu Yanming and Chuoba Feng Yan to see what their clan's intentions were as well. Now that he knew their views were aligned with Shi Clan, Shi Kang felt more relaxed. Come, drink wine, drink wine. Shi Kang raised his cup and smiled warmly. After the meal, the three immortals thanked Shi Zhang before setting off for Wan Clan. Shi Zhang stored away the cups, he had a heavy mood. Shi Kang's treatment by the clan was too good, it was simply the opposite of him. Earlier, when Shi Kang was in closed cultivation, the clan provided him all the resources he needed. After Shi Kang took Sand Heap Blessed Land, the clan rewarded him immediately. The dragon crocodiles he killed were all kept as his property. It was a lucrative job. As for the journey to Wan Clan, there were no risks and the outcome was basically decided. He would be welcomed by Wan Clan. Instead of a mission, it was like a reward. Sigh. My hope still lies in wealth goo. When can I refine this goo successfully? Heaven refining demon venerable? No, I will not ask for anyone's help. The risk is too big. Even though Shi Zhang set such a determined goal, after a hundred failures in refining the goo, he had already started to feel dejected. His intuition vaguely told him that with his strength alone, the chance of refining wealth goo was slim. Thus, unknowingly, he entered Yellow Heaven again with his divine sense. Within Treasure Yellow Heaven, Fang Yuan's will suddenly opened his eyes as he spoke in a grand tone. This rank 7 movement Immortal Gu, Capture Wind Gu, has been refined as per the request of Southern Borders Wu Yong. We will make the transaction now. What? Shi Zhang was shocked. At this moment, every Gu Immortal who was inside Treasure Yellow Heaven gasped, under everyone's gaze, Wu Yang's will got close to Fang Yuan's will. The latter tossed rank 7 capture wind Gu to Wu Yang's will. Wu Yang's will nodded and said nothing. He left treasure yellow heaven with the new immortal Gu. 
someone actually made a transaction with Fang Yuan, and it is actually southern borders Wu Yang. Shi Zhang had a dazed expression. Chapter 22-23, Fang Yuan's Protection Southern Border Wu Yu Mountain Wu Clan's Blessed Land Headquarters Wu Clan's Gu Immortals were gathered. Wu Yang sat at the main seat. Most of the Gu Immortals here were present. Only a few individuals had no way of coming and sent their wills instead. These last days, we have received letters from Ba Clan, Tai Clan, Luo Clan, Hu Clan, and the others. Take a look at them. Wu Yang waved his hand. More than ten information path Gu Worms flew out. As Wu Clan's Gu Immortals looked through them, their expressions turned grim and dark. The contents of these information path Gu Worms, to put it mildly, were empty of value. They were merely using a righteous tone to condemn and question Wu Yang as to why he would make a deal with a demon like Fang Yuan. Some of them even threatened to withdraw from the Southern Alliance, arguing that Wu Yang was not qualified to take up the role of the Alliance leader. They demanded that the Alliance leader should be replaced by a more capable person. These fellows, HMPH, they are shameless. I can't stand this. There are many super clans involved here. Most of them have once worked together with Lu Wai Yin, right? Back then, Lu Wai Yin and Fang Yuan cooperated to kill Spectral Soul and escaped from Heavenly Court's pursuit. Now, they have the nerve to come and reprimand us. They want to change the Alliance leader? He <laughs> he, in the whole of Southern Border's Gu Immortal world, is there anyone more suitable than Lord Wu Yang? Wu Clan's Gu Immortals discussed among themselves, speaking in an angry tone. Wu Yang did not speak, he drank tea calmly as he listened to the Immortals' conversations. The Immortals got louder and more riled up. Their tone became agitated and they wanted to exact revenge on those clans. Wu Yang put down his cup at this point, raising his hand slightly. The Immortals saw this and immediately kept quiet. Many of the Wu Clan Gu Immortals who had stood up uncontrollably in anger quickly sat down. Wu Yang's gaze swept across everyone as the hall fell into silence. This is my Wu Clan. Wu Clan was expressionless, but he was incredibly pleased internally. Ever since he took charge of Wu Clan, he had been leading them through crises. They experienced many battles and even chased after Fang Yuan. Most importantly, Wu Yang had incredible political skills. He gained the loyalty of the whole of Wu Clan. Among them, there were not just the original Wu Clan Gu Immortals, but also the new lone Immortal External Elders, and the newly advanced Rank 6 Gu Immortals of recent times. In the earlier discussion, these people did not raise any objection or suggestion towards Wu Yang's decision and method. This showed how much prestige Wu Yang had in his clan. Supreme Elder Ba Chong explained the situation to everyone. Wu Yang said plainly, Yes. As the second Supreme Elder, Wu Ba Chong stood up and said to the present Gu Immortals, Days ago, Heaven Refining Demon Venerable, no, I mean Great Love Immortal Venerable, personally sent us a message. He contacted First Supreme Elder and insisted for him to undergo a public transaction. Thinking of Wu Clan, which cannot block Fang Yuan's rage, First Supreme Elder had to endure the humiliation and agree to Fang Yuan's request. Wu Clan's immortals looked at each other. Some had a change of expression, some clenched their fists, while some gritted their teeth, they could feel the immense pressure from Fang Yuan just by hearing this account. Fang Yuan acted in an unrestrained manner. In this situation, it was logical for Wu Yang to be forced into such a transaction. But at the next moment, Wu Yang laughed loudly. Oh Ba Chang, no need to say this to them. We are all one family, I will tell you the straightforward truth. The immortals tensed up and focused. Bright light shined in Wu Yang's eyes. This is not my first transaction with Fang Yuan. Before this, we have already done several secret transactions. Fang Yuan's evidence is not fake. Saying so, Wu Yang paused for a second. Seeing that the hall was silent and that every Gu immortal still looked at him with a heated gaze, 
Wu Yong nodded in satisfaction, continuing. The reason for this is very simple. Firstly, be it the previous Fang Yuan or the current venerable Fang Yuan, he is an existence that we cannot provoke. Secondly, making transactions with Fang Yuan benefited us greatly. Our Wu clan gained several new immortal Gu recently, they were all Fang Yuan's creations. If we had to refine them ourselves, we would have spent many times the immortal materials without any success. Wu clan's immortals were silent. Wu Yong looked around and went past Wu Ba Chong, his gaze ending up on Wu Kaio. Wu Kaio shuddered and instantly stood up, speaking in a shivering voice, But, but, now that these super forces are reprimanding us, how should we deal with it? Wu Yang smiled as he nodded at Wu Kaio, good question. Saying so, he extended his hand. All of the information path mortal Gu flew back to him. Wu Yang blew lightly, a slight breeze went in the air, destroying all of the information path mortal Gu immediately. These so-called accusations are completely useless. Wu Yang snickered coldly, will they dare to attack us? The immortals were stunned. Wu Yang leaned back on his chair, he was high and mighty as his gaze swept down on everyone. Do you still not understand? Everyone times have changed. The fate war, the pursuit battle against Fang Yuan, and the battle in Kray's demon cave, after all these, Heavenly Court's foundation has already been expended. Even though Star Constellation Immortal Venerable revived, she had no choice but to announce that the other two venerables were of the demonic path. But both Giant Sun and Fang Yuan are also claiming themselves to be immortal venerables. They do not agree with the demon venerable title. What is immortal? What is demonic? What is righteous path? What is demonic path? The immortals were all shaken. Wu Yang laughed. With the conflict of three venerables now, the five regions and two heavens will enter an unprecedented great era. If we still use our former judgment to differentiate righteous and demonic, we will only be devoured by the terrifying tides of the new era. Didn't you see how Fang Yuan spent no effort to recruit the entire Righteous Kai Alliance? Our southern alliance against these venerables is completely useless and powerless. It is impossible to lead a group of sheep to defeat a fierce tiger. Furthermore, against these venerables, we are not even considered sheep. The only thing that can fight a venerable is a venerable. Us pitiful worms need to survive between the cracks of the venerables. We need to work hard and absorb more nutrients to strengthen ourselves. If we can gain the pity of destiny, we might have a chance of survival. Give up the so-called pride of the righteous path, Break free from the restraints of cheap morals and virtues. Abandon your superiority complex as a goo immortal. These are all superficial and worthless things. Like the information path mortal goo I destroyed earlier, a venerable can kill all of us goo immortals with just a simple breath as well. Finally, Wu Yang raised his volume and said solemnly, Work your very best. Spend every minute and second of your life to fight for survival in this terrifying great era. Yes, we have learned much from First Supreme Elder's wise words, Wu Ba Chong, Wu Kaio, and the other Wu clan Gu immortals stood up and replied solemnly. Western Desert. Wan clan headquarters. A banquet had just ended in the main hall with many used cups. There were only several Wan clan Gu immortals left. Rank 6 Gu Immortal Wan Jui King smashed the cup in his hand on the ground in anger. These hypocritical and vicious clans, they are a disgrace to Western Desert. Don't they have the glory and resolution of the righteous path? Wan Jui King shouted in anger. His face was flushed red. Jui King. Wan Zio frowned slightly. Am I wrong? Wan Jui King was still furious. These last days, we held a small banquet every three days and a large banquet every five days, but what about these Gu Immortals? They are all giving vague replies and refuse to give definite answers. Jui King, Wan Zio shouted. Forget it, forget it. At this time, Wan Clan's first supreme elder left his seat with a solemn expression. 
but his back seemed to be bent and weak. The remaining Wan Clan Gu immortals fell into deep silence. Outside Wan Clan's headquarters, Tang Fang Ming and Tang Mayo flew in the sky while looking at the stars, they were very relaxed. Occasionally coming out to relax is a good decision, brother. Tang Mayo smiled. Tang Fang Ming nodded, having the same feeling. He was the rank 7 Gu immortal expert in Tang clan who received the most support. But different from Shi Kang, the reason why Tang Fang Ming was supported and placed great importance upon was because he had extraordinary talent and aptitude in dream path exploration. This time, they went to Wan clan because Tang Fang Ming's beloved sister Tang Mayo wanted to go sightseeing. Brother, Wan clan attended to us really nicely. They are very determined to deal with Fang clan as well. After negotiating with the various clans these days, Wan clan has already relented multiple times. When do you think the alliance army will be formed? Tang Mayo asked. Tang Fang Ming smiled coldly. The alliance army against Fang clan is not going to be created. What? Why? Let's take an example. Tang Fang Ming sighed. Currently, the five regions and two heavens is like a forest with three fierce tigers that are exceptionally scary. Tang Mayo's eyes lit up. Brother, you mean the three venerables? Tang Fang Ming nodded. Other than these three fierce beasts, there are many birds, rabbits, and fish. Right now, a small bird called Wan wants to deal with a small rabbit called Fang. The bird knows it cannot win alone so it gathered other birds and rabbits to try to pay a high price in order to bully the individual. However, the rabbit named Fang is currently leaning on a fierce beast. Nobody knows if the fierce beast will get angered if they touch this rabbit. If the fierce beast moves, no matter how many animals the bird named Wan gathers, they will all become food for the fierce beast. Tang Mayo was somewhat surprised. Brother, you mean to say that this is the reason why these super forces cannot form an alliance army? Tang Fang Ming nodded again with a solemn expression. No matter how harmonious the banquet is, or how intense the negotiation between Wan clan and the others get, they are all superficial in nature. The truth is that these animals are shivering in fear and deeply alert regarding the beasts. If any of them move in the forest, none of the animals can stop them. Tang Mayo took in a deep breath. Thankfully, our Tang clan has been in contact with Lord Fang Yuan since long ago. We have undergone countless transactions. In my opinion, since Southern Borders Alliance leader Wu Yang made a transaction with Fang Yuan publicly, our Tang clan can also. Absolutely not, Tang Fang Ming said. Every action by Lord Fang Yuan contains deep meaning. The reason why he exposed evidence earlier and showed the transactions with many forces and Gu immortals, without mentioning our Tang clan, is because he is protecting us. Our Tang clan cannot compare with Southern Borders Wu clan, or even Fang clan. We are a weak force in Western Desert. Because of our territorial location, we would be easily ganged up on and attacked. At this time, we cannot cause any commotion or raise attention to ourselves. We should only continue to work with Lord Fang Yuan in secret. We cannot waste his efforts. Of course, the information of Wan Clan gathering the forces can be sold to Fang Clan as a favor from us. Fang Clan and Lord Fang Yuan have many transactions. From this angle, they are our natural ally. Tang Fang Ming spoke frankly, but he had a clear view of the situation. Tang Mayo listened with shining eyes, gaining realization as well. But at this time, Tang Fang Ming's expression changed slightly. Brother, what's wrong? Gu immortals are transacting with Fang Yuan again in Treasure Yellow Heaven. There are three people this time, among which two are from Northern Plains and Central Continent. Tang Fang Ming replied quickly with a flash of excitement in his eyes. Chapter 2224 Power of a Refinement Path Venerable A lump of fire was burning quietly in Fang Yuan's hand. The fire was only the size of an infant's fist, its color changed constantly. If a refinement path expert saw it, they would shout out in shock. 
Because the change in the color of the flame was only the superficial appearance, the essence was something different. For example, red flame meant fire refinement. When it was white, that was light refinement. When it was icy blue, that was ice refinement. Fang Yuan clenched his fist lightly. The flame disappeared instantly. Fang Yuan kept silent as he fell into deep contemplation. A long while later, he blinked his eyes and retracted all of his scattered thoughts. During this period of time, he had been personally refining immortal goo and did not activate four elements square regret blood refinement pool at all. He refined more than ten immortal goo that were mostly rank six and seven. It was not an accomplishment for someone like Fang Yuan. But in this process, Fang Yuan gained a considerable harvest. His current refinement path attainment level was at Supreme Grandmaster. Any Gu refinement method was very easily discerned by him. He could understand their full profundity. No Gu recipes had hidden secrets in the eyes of Fang Yuan. Right now, Fang Yuan could modify most recipes with a single attempt. Even for the more profound immortal goo recipes that needed some time to modify and expended a lot of effort to deduce appropriate immortal materials, by simply using Fang Yuan's refinement path intuition, he could just take a look to understand the exact direction that the immortal goo recipe should go in. Fang Yuan tried many times, his attempts confirmed that this intuition gave correct answers with certainty. This was the same for modifying refinement path killer moves and Gu refinement methods. Once, when Fang Yuan was refining Gu, he had an inspiration and thought of a new Gu refinement method. He succeeded on the first try. When he personally refined Gu, Fang Yuan could feel a sense of control. This sense of control greatly raised the success rate of refining immortal Gu. When he refined the various immortal Gu, when he got to a certain point of the refinement process, Fang Yuan would have a feeling that success was guaranteed. Even if the Gu refinement was going to fail, Fang Yuan still had the sense of control. He could predict the failure of the Gu refinement in advance. After all, even a refinement path venerable could fail when refining immortal Gu. On one hand, it was the refinement method. If any human error occurred, failure was guaranteed. On the other hand, the various paths still had their own constraints. For example, refining fire path immortal goo would need a large amount of fire path immortal materials. Fang Yuan's control over the fire path immortal material would be much lower naturally since his fire path attainment level was way inferior to refinement path. But when I try to refine refinement path immortal goo, the success rate is basically 100%. Of course, I have not tried to refine rank 9 refinement path immortal goo yet. Fang Yuan had already confirmed this point. Refinement path immortal goo would use a large amount of refinement path immortal materials. Fang Yuan's control over these refinement path immortal materials was 100%. On this point, be they old eccentric Tian Nan, old immortal Kong Ju, or long hair ancestor, they could not compare to Fang Yuan. Because Fang Yuan was a refinement path venerable, he could refine the natural refinement path Tao marks of the outside world. Refinement path immortal materials contained refinement path Tao marks, they were also subjected to this. Thus, Fang Yuan had perfect control over these immortal materials. Thus, as long as there were no errors in the refinement method, with few immortal materials from other paths, the refinement path Immortal Goo's refinement would have a success rate that was infinitely close to 100%. In terms of Goo refinement success rate, Fang Yuan had already surpassed four elements square regret blood refinement pool. This was under the condition that he had little practice and was not proficient in many refinement path methods and killer moves yet. Even though Fang Yuan was a refinement path venerable now, he still had a long way to improve in terms of refinement path. Other than practicing more and gaining experience in the future, when my other paths' attainment levels rise, my success rate in refining immortal goo of those paths will also rise rapidly as well. It is a pity that I cannot retrieve the primordial domain in Treasure Yellow Heaven yet.
Fang Yuan did not have a way to retrieve the primordial domain. Thus, he kept the primordial domain that he obtained from Giant Sun Immortal Venerable in Treasure Yellow Heaven. He continued to pay the fee for storing it there. Thinking of Treasure Yellow Heaven, Fang Yuan recalled the three Gu Immortals that transacted with him earlier. These three came from southern border, central continent, and northern plains. They had open transactions that used their real names. Thus the five regions Gu Immortals learned of the details. The southern border Gu Immortal was a member from Kaio clan, which was Wu clan's vassal. The open transaction between Kaio clan's Gu Immortal and Fang Yuan was likely instructed by Wu Yang to alleviate the political pressure on Wu clan. Other than that, there was the Lone Immortal from Northern Plains and Daimonic Immortal from Central Continent. The truth was, after Wu Yang's transaction, there were many Gu Immortals who wanted to secretly contact Fang Yuan for Immortal Gu refinement. But Fang Yuan's rule was that the transaction had to be openly done. Thus, many Gu Immortals hesitated. Only a few Gu Immortals, because of their own nature or external pressure, accepted Fang Yuan's rule of an open transaction. Afterwards, Fang Yuan chose these two people. They did not have high cultivation level. They were rank 6 Gu Immortals that were at the bottom of the Gu Immortal world. Maybe it was because of their identity at the bottom. These two were more inclined to take risks and try to change their current situation. It was like how poor people often disregarded their lives while rich people were cautious and scared of dying. Of course, these two people were no longer in Northern Plains and Central Continent. Nobody knew what heavenly courts and longevity heaven's reactions would be after they made a transaction with Fang Yuan. These two Gu Immortals were not stupid, they escaped to another region immediately. In the past, this action would have many drawbacks. But with the dissipation of the regional walls and the unification of the five regions, as well as the movement of Kai tides, the heaven and earth Kai of the five regions became the same. There were no longer differences. Thus, no matter which region a Gu immortal went to, they would not be restricted by heaven and earth Kai. The following period is crucial. Fang Yuan did not know what the reactions of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable would be. He was anticipating them with alertness and wariness. According to his deductions, there were four possible reactions from the two Venerables. First, they could send subordinates to kill these two rank six Gu Immortals. This was easy, Fang Yuan purposely chose them back then because they were weak. If these two died at the hands of Longevity Heaven and Heavenly Court, Fang Yuan would be very happy. Second, the two venerables cooperate to attack Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was very wary against this situation, but he wanted to see this as well. Third, the two venerables target Treasure Yellow Heaven instead. This situation would be the same as crippling the foundation of Fang Yuan's Great Love Gu Refinement Plan. But the possibility was too slim. Ever since Treasure Yellow Heaven appeared, it had existed until now. During this time, Heavenly Court, Longevity Heaven, Shadow Sect, and other geniuses and outstanding experts wanted to find Treasure Yellow Heaven. But they all failed. Even now, Fang Yuan did not know where Treasure Yellow Heaven was. It was truly an extremely mysterious existence. Fourth, which was the most likely situation that the two venerables would choose, was to ignore Fang Yuan's Gu refinement business since they could not stop it anyway. They would target other aspects, like elevating their cultivation and forces, to try and use other advantages against Fang Yuan's great love Gu refinement plan. The truth is, ever since we left Cray's Demon Cave, the contest between me, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable had already begun. Whoever can develop the best will have the greatest advantage in our upcoming fights. Advantages may not become victory in the end, but as advantages accumulate, the eventual outcome will be affected for sure. Fang Yuan had a clear recognition of his standing among the three venerables. Recalling the battle in Cray's Demon Cave, Fang Yuan was aware that he could win because he had the most accurate combat tactics. 
because Fang Yuan only showed pseudo-venerable battle strength, and because the venerables had been using him as a pawn all along, they did not think much of him subconsciously. Be they giant sun immortal venerable or star constellation immortal venerable, they treated each other as the greatest threat. This gave Fang Yuan a lot of room to maneuver. But venerables were not so easily deceived. Thus, Fang Yuan purposely exposed his ambition in refinement path, causing the two venerables to find out that he was trying to become venerable through refinement path. After that, when he had sufficient accumulation in refinement path attainment level, he purposely gave up the fight over primordial domain in front of the two venerables. With the refinement path portion of primordial domain destroyed, both venerables knew that Fang Yuan could not become venerable in the short term, they let their guard down against him. On this basis, Fang Yuan continued to expose his weakness. For example, Zhan Bu Du had been extremely high profile in the few fights he was in. It caused a huge headache for Star Constellation Immortal Venerable. Thus, Fang Yuan purposely let him die at Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's hands. Or, for example, Reverse Flow Protection Seal, Peaceful Soil Heavy Mountain Fortress, and other methods that the Venerables knew about. Fang Yuan purposely used up these methods so that the Venerables would be even less on guard against him. Fang Yuan had even planned to sacrifice the Kai Si clone purposely. But even at that extent, the two Venerables were still not assured about Fang Yuan. At certain times, they worked together to try to eliminate him first. That was the most dangerous moment for Fang Yuan. He had both internal and external threats. His life was hanging on a thread in many situations. After all, spring-autumn cicada could not be used. Thankfully, Fang Yuan got through those ordeals and finally saw the light of day at the end of the tunnel. The two venerables consumed each other's strength, while limitless demon venerables' appearance and Paradise Earth's venerable ascension attempt caused the two venerables' attention to be shifted to them. Eventually, Fang Yuan took a chance to kill Paradise Earth and repel the two venerables, becoming the greatest winner in this battle in Kray's Demon Cave. Other than the proper combat tactics, the most important criteria for victory was that Fang Yuan had made all sorts of preparations before the battle started. Fang Yuan obtained Ability Goo and Fortitude Goo, they were extremely useful in Kray's Demon Cave. Fang Yuan raised the cultivation level of his subordinates, allowing White Rabbit and Mayo Yin to fight against Duke Mei and Duke Tong. Fang Yuan deduced and modified many killer moves like Dang Hun Luo Po Seal, Road of Life, several hundred totem killer moves, Heaven Envy's heroic geniuses, and countless compound killer moves. Fang Yuan even created the artificial earth vein and defensive food path methods, he also prepared Dream Path killer moves. Most of them were used in Kray's Demon Cave if he had not made ample preparation. Even if Fang Yuan had the proper tactics, he could not last until the end. I became a Refinement Path Venerable and gained the most benefits in the battle in Kray's Demon Cave. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable are placing a huge focus on me now. I need to do everything to raise my strength and develop further. That is how I can accumulate my advantage in the contest of three venerables. The results of development now would be the crucial factors affecting the victory of the contest of three venerables in the future. Chapter 2225 Enemies on one hand, cooperation on the other. Northern Plains Longevity Heaven Giant Sun Immortal Venerable held onto an information path Mortal Goo as he thought to himself and sighed with a calm expression to think that as a Venerable, I will actually be unable to do anything against a mere Northern Plains rank 6 lone Immortal. With Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's temper and nature, Goo Immortals publicly transacting with Fang Yuan were simply provoking him. In the past, such a Goo Immortal would have already died countless times. The pride of a venerable was not to be trampled. But now, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable summoned one of the eight extremities and said, Go, secretly transmit to the Huangjin tribes to try to recruit this person. 
Whoever succeeds will receive my special reward. Yes. The member of the eight extremities answered and left respectfully. At this time, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable could not make any statements personally, it would be disadvantageous to him and Longevity Heaven. But he could let the Huang Jin tribes take action. This was the political skill of an experienced ruler. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable knew that Fang Yuan's Great Love Gu refinement plan could not be stopped. It was an open scheme that everyone could see, but the desires of Gu Immortals could not be suppressed. If Giant Sun Immortal Venerable tried to stop it, or if he ordered people to kill this Northern Plains lone immortal, he would lose the hearts of the people in Longevity Heaven. He might be able to suppress it for a while, but the more he stifled it, the deeper this discontent would accumulate, and when it erupts in the future, a huge problem would occur in Longevity Heaven. Eventually, the result would be simple. Northern Plains lone immortals and demonic cultivators would find Fang Yuan for public transactions. After that, they would leave and escape to the other regions. Most likely, they would go to Eastern Sea, which was under Fang Yuan's control. That was the same as Fang Yuan using Immortal Gu to lure these lone immortals and demonic cultivators of Northern Plains to Eastern Sea, strengthening his own Heaven and Earth Great Love Alliance. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable would not fall for such an open scheme. Fang Yuan is too arrogant, he does not have enough immortal essence, but he dares to publicly provoke us, HMPH, we need to retaliate. If the battle in Kray's Demon Cave let Giant Sun Immortal Venerable learn of Fang Yuan's battle strength, then currently, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable learned of Fang Yuan's shrewd and ruthless political skills. Thinking about it, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable took out an information path Immortal Gu from his Immortal Aperture. The information path Immortal Gu quickly flew towards Central Continent. Central Continent, Heavenly Court. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable was also thinking of a way to deal with Fang Yuan's method. She called for He Feng Yang and personally talked to him before giving him a mission. When He Feng Yang left Heavenly Court, he was still in a confused state. The mission that Star Constellation Immortal Venerable gave him was to publicly transact with Fang Yuan and refine a new Immortal Gu. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's countermeasure was even more simple than Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's. Since Fang Yuan declared that he would show his great love to the world, refining Gu for enemies and allies alike, Heavenly Court would use this to their advantage. It was a fact that they could not stop his scheme, thus, making use of it to gain benefits was a wise choice. Of course, Heavenly Court and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable would not make transactions with Fang Yuan openly. This was still not acceptable. After all, they had denounced Fang Yuan as a demon venerable earlier. As for the transaction between Fang Yuan and He Fang Yang, be it success or failure, Heavenly Court would stay indifferent towards it showing a political attitude that they would not care about the actions of the ten great ancient sects in this aspect. This way, the ten great ancient sects would get involved and obtain many immortal Gu that would raise the strength of Central Continent as a whole. If Fang Yuan were to reject them or state an absurd price, it would go against his earlier declaration, causing him to lose his credibility. Weakening Fang Yuan's credibility was also a sort of victory for Heavenly Court. Qin Ding Ling appeared with two information path Immortal Gu. Oh, after Star Constellation Immortal Venerable took a look at them, she fell into contemplation. The first one came from Southern Borders Wu Clan. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable looked into it. Southern Alliance leader Wu Yang, the first Supreme Elder of Wu Clan, wanted to have an open transaction with Heavenly Court. Wu Yang seemed to have forgotten that he had led the Southern Alliance to oppose Heavenly Court during the Fate War. A hint of appreciation flashed past Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's eyes. This Wu Yang is truly remarkable. Earlier, he had transactions with Fang Yuan. Now, he wants to transact with Heavenly Court too. His ambitions are not small. But it is good too, 
Agreeing to this will benefit Heavenly Court. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable made a decision to hold transactions with Wu Yang immediately. On one hand, she was showing her attitude that she was tolerant towards any transaction with Fang Yun. On the other hand, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable was also trying to pull Wu Yang to her side. Fang Yuan and Wu Yang were very close now. If she rejected him, he might likely join his side. This was not something Star Constellation Immortal Venerable wanted to see. As for the second information path Immortal Gu, it came from Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. The content was simple. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable wanted to cooperate with Star Constellation Immortal Venerable to take action against Fang Yuan together. Of course, they were not going to ally without any basis. After all, during the battle in Kray's Demon Cave, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable had cooperated to a certain extent against Fang Yuan, who became Venerable. The battle in Kray's Demon Cave had just ended, the Venerables had not gotten much stronger since. If the two Venerables joined hands against Fang Yuan now, they would only be asking for humiliation. It would not end well. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's idea was to continuously use luck path methods to survey Eastern Sea and investigate Heaven Refining Demon Venerable. If Fang Yuan made any attempt to refine Rank 9 Immortal Gu, a huge fluctuation in his luck would be observable. By then, they would use the chance to deal with him. Right now, Fang Yuan was very strong. Both Giant Sun Immortal Venerable and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable would be repelled by him. But his advantage was not big enough, so the two Venerables were still quite calm. However, once he refines a Rank 9 Immortal Gu, he would have to expend a huge amount of Immortal Essence, especially during the crucial moments of Gu refinement. If the two Venerables find a chance to attack Fang Yuan's major flaw, he would be at his weakest. If Fang Yuan fails the Gu refinement, he would suffer a terrifying backlash as well. After all, the refinement of a Rank 9 Immortal Gu was extremely significant. Regarding Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's suggestion, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable agreed without second thought. The truth was, she had her own set of investigative methods to spy on Eastern Sea as well. She was guarded against Fang Yuan, who could be refining Rank 9 Immortal Gu at any time. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable placed great focus on Fang Yuan's refinement path attainment. The contest of three Venerables was neck and neck. If either side gained a Rank 9 Immortal Gu, their strength would rise immensely. That would no longer be a contest of equal strength. Even territories could be lost then. The truth was, even if Giant Sun Immortal Venerable did not send a letter, Star Constellation Immortal Venerable would have sent one to him. If Fang Yuan was truly given the chance to display his specialty and refine a Rank 9 Immortal Gu, he would gain the biggest advantage. That was something neither of the two Venerables wanted to see. This secret plan to stop Fang Yuan from refining Rank 9 Immortal Gu started with the subtle cooperation of the two Venerables. If Fang Yuan takes a risk to refine Rank 9 Immortal Gu, we will strike. But even if I cooperate with Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, I still need to mind my Immortal Essence expenditure. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable understood that Giant Sun Immortal Venerable had more Immortal Essence than her. But if she expended too much immortal essence when targeting Fang Yuan, even if she spent the same amount as Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, it would not benefit her. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's biggest advantage was in immortal essence quantity after all. If that situation occurred, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's advantage would be even bigger then. That was also part of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's secret scheme. Eastern Sea Oh, Fang Yuan's expression changed slightly. Currently, he was refining Immortal Gu while communicating in Treasure Yellow Heaven. He also considered the arrangements and development of his Immortal Aperture with great ease. Now, he had received He Feng Yang's request for a transaction in Treasure Yellow Heaven. He Feng Yang is actually asking me for an open transaction. 
It seems that this is Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's idea. Fang Yuan immediately understood the truth. Without Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's permission, how could he Fong Yang dare to do this? Worthy of Star Constellation Immortal Venerable, Fang Yuan praised. It was a wise and logical countermeasure. The contest of forces and the fight between experts had never been as simple as allies and enemies. But according to the specific situation, one needed to have the flexibility to change sides. Sometimes, your enemies could become your allies. You could even work together with your enemies while simultaneously plotting against them. But this reaction was within Fang Yuan's expectations. Regarding He Feng Yang's request for a transaction, Fang Yuan's will agreed on the spot. If he rejected this, it would weaken his credibility and reputation. Furthermore, what reason was there to reject it? This was beneficial to Heavenly Court and Central Continent, but it was even more useful for Fang Yun. After all, he was the seller who set the price. It was natural that Heavenly Court and Central Continent were going to benefit. This was a mutually beneficial transaction where both sides got what they wanted. The losing side was naturally Longevity Heaven. When Fang Yuan and Star Constellation Immortal Venerable become stronger, Longevity Heaven would be left behind. But once Longevity Heaven sees this situation, they would want to catch up. Even if they were unwilling, they would make transactions with Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan would obviously not reject them. By then, he would be the party that benefits the most out of this. Since you want to rank 7 Immortal Gu, hand me the 9 Central Stone Forest. Fang Yuan quoted his price to He Fong Yang. Nine Central Stone Forest was an Earth Path resource point. It could be used as an Earth Vein node. The exact value when compared to a Rank 7 Immortal Gu was not clear. For the short term, the Rank 7 Immortal Gu was definitely more valuable. But for the long term, a Nine Central Stone Forest that could continuously produce Earth Path resources definitely surpassed just one Rank 7 Immortal Gu. This quote was very expensive, far higher than Fang Yuan's earlier price for refining Gu. He Feng Yang could not make a decision, but he had Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's orders. On the whole, this price was still in the acceptable range, so He Feng Yang agreed to it. In the future, when Heavenly Court and Longevity Heaven transact with me further, I will ask for more Earth Path resource points for fixing Earth veins in my Sovereign Immortal Aperture. The Sovereign Immortal Aperture had already started to prosper and develop. The current plan was to construct a water vein. Since the Righteous Kai Alliance joined Fang Yuan, they had to show their sincerity. Fang Yuan gave orders without holding back. He asked the clans to contribute a batch of Water Path resource points. I have tens of yellow apricot immortal essence beads now. I cannot take a risk in refining rank 9 immortal goo yet. These immortal essence beads are insufficient. Let's refine those heaven path rank 8 immortal goo first. 